Hey guys, Nano Nexus here with the third in my series of videos showing some great upcoming games that are in their alpha and beta stages. This episode we are looking at the games that I believe feature original and new methods of gameplay which basically lead us to explore new things and have a refreshing gaming experience overall. So we're starting off here with my favourite of the bunch. It's a narrative driven game from Silver String Media called Glitch Hikers. A surreal game about the meditative state you go to while driving alone at night listening to the radio. The developers explain that this game explores that liminal space, that journey, that infinity, our place in the universe, the gothic sublime, love, death and the adventure that lies between. Lots of lovely descriptive language there but essentially it's an experience following that idea that Basically every drive is a journey and perhaps the one without a purpose is the one with the most purpose. So gameplay wise, you drive along the road, minimal gameplay with W and S controlling your speed, A and D changing lanes and you can look from side to side. While driving the radio plays in the background although it's more like a narration of the experience speaking to you in between your strange conversations with hitchhikers you pick up along the road. So the drive takes about 15 minutes and you have three different conversations with the passengers each time you play adding a lot of replayability to the game. You discuss various things and each question asked by the passenger leaves a number of answers for you, selecting the number of which you want to choose. These selections affect who your next hitchhiker will be. Lucas Johnson, the writer of the game, says he wanted to give players the mental and physical space to consider their own answers to the game's philosophical questions. So next up, a slightly less philosophical and thought-provoking experience, Gang Beasts. Uh, this, it's, in, it's set in Beef City, a meat production metropolis where gangs violently compete for control of the streets in the aftermath of the Great Beef Crash. So uh, what we have is a multiplayer co-op party game influenced by a classic melee fighting games like Streets of Rage. It's an eccentric and light-hearted local multiplayer party game with doughy ragdoll physics and environmental hazards. It's in pre-alpha at the moment but the gameplay elements are really smooth so far. You can grab, push, pull, punch and throw your enemies from speeding trucks, suspended platforms and ferris wheels, throwing them into mechanical grinders, fiery incinerators, chemical vats, the sea and moving trains. So there's plans to add more levels and character types before full release as well as support for up to 10 players and additional fighting moves. It's worth trying out even in single player to have a look at the gameplay and practice your moves on an inanimate enemy although I've uh, still managed to die. Finally we have a game that you may have already heard of, the early access is now available on Steam for around the £5, $9 mark I think, and uh, it's quite a popular one. It's the Space Station Janitor Simulator, Viscera Cleanup Detail. Think Aftermath of Dead Space basically, Isaac's gone off to kill a load of necromorphs elsewhere, and it's time to wash out the bloodstains and pick up the torsos of god knows what. Unknown organic matter is everywhere and you best pick up all those spent cartridges. You are a space station janitor and it is your duty to get the station cleaned up. It's a tough job but perhaps just be glad you didn't choose to be an engineer. So the game features co-op multiplayer with a number of maps including the amusingly frustrating Zero G. The controls are great, very fluid, fun game overall, and um, a nice twist on a familiar setting. So next time you play Dead Space, you'll probably be sparing a thought for the cleaners. 
So that's it for this episode, uh, go ahead and throw me a comment, hit that like button if you enjoyed and all the links you could ever wish for are in the description. Next up is my choice of action games. We'll have shadow based gameplay, twin stick tower defence hybrid survival and a robot who just wants to be loved. So I will see you in the next one.